Hello, fellow warriors against consensus reality. After a day of facing customers and people and <laughs> enjoying a certain live stream during working hours, <laughs> you um, hear things and you, are, you, you get told things and you discover things throughout your day and you begin to put things into perspective and I believe the perspective on MGTOW I feel I need to sort of touch on that for a little bit you have a lot of stuff being said about MGTOW these days um, you know things that uh, many of us thought were basically dealt with and put to bed but apparently not you have certain tendencies and ego mind bullshit rearing its ugly head yet again I suppose I really shouldn't be surprised and it kind of indicates to me that there's still people who feel I would I would expect for whatever fucked up reason threatened by MGTOW threatened by the idea of men no longer engaging in the quote-unquote system especially when the above-mentioned system is dead set dead against us and where the house always wins and you have people who talk crap about MGTOW and especially the the whole monk concept as I keep saying as I've said from the very very early videos I'll say it fucking again MGTOW being a monk is not for everybody neither do we expect it to be for everybody you will have the vast majority of men who cannot go without vagina without that mucousy hole that so many of you guys spent so much money resources and time on and that's fine whatever tickles your fancy um, just don't try to shame us or make us feel bad in any way shape or form for saying for daring to say you know what this is not for me good luck I'm going my own way and that doesn't seem to be enough simplicity never well simplicity really is and so you have certain deluded fuckwits who decide that hmm maybe I can actually delude this group of men and try to make money from them and scam them in some fucked up way in their own deluded little fucked up head so yes you have men pretending to be MGTOW who have been married continuously for 10 years who are as some guys rightly say shills who want to benefit financially in some way from men going their own way and to those men I say go fuck yourself go fuck yourself continue worshipping at the altar of the great golden vagina and leave us the fuck alone it's that easy um, these quote unquote men are worse than feminists because at least with the feminists you know where you stand 
you know they're batshit crazy. Yes, you can have quite a bit of fun with them. But with these guys, they, they're cowards because they pretend to be something they're not. And you have certain other deluded fuckwits saying, oh, you know, um, I see MGTOWN men and after all this time, whatever, etc., etc., the way they word it, um, they're not doing enough for the world. Um, it's MGTOWN, not Live Aid. Okay, we're not Bob Geldof. <laughs> all right. <laughs> We're not going to sort of like feed the world, okay? We're doing our own thing. We are going our own way. We are focusing all that huge amount of energy, and you do, when you continue on the path of a true MGTOW. You know, not a closet slave of vagina, you have, you free yourself up um, a huge amount of energy and the important thing there is to find ways to channel this energy, do something more productive and creative and fulfilling and satisfying for yourself for other people, for the collective global repository of culture and human endeavor. Okay, let's get a bit lofty there. And so, all that time, all that huge amounts of energy, you channel into something else, and it's easy. Or so I think. But for some reason, people just don't get it. And may I suggest these people stop trying to pull the wool over other men's eyes. Stop trying to make yourself into something you're not. Stop using shaming tactics. Do your own thing. Continue worshipping vagina. Good luck to you. And for, for fuck's sake, can you people please stop telling us what you think MGTOW is or try to justify calling yourself MGTOW on the one hand and being continuous slaves to the great golden, golden vagina on the other. You can't have both. Okay, it's that simple. It's like, oh, yes, I'm MGTOW, but, uh, you know, La 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 pee your way, blah 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 blah. So you basically want to be a slave to vagina and the plantation and call yourself MGTOW and benefit from that. Well, sorry darling, you don't get to do that. If it's not for you, go back to the plantation, continue pursuing, con continue feverishly running on the endless treadmill of vaginal pursuit. And good luck to you. It's that simple. So basically, guys, may I please suggest being very careful with some of these people you come across because some of them are not what they appear. One of the biggest lying phony cunts on YouTube. People do show their, their, um, their real personalities. They do show the truth one way or the other. All you've got to do is be mindful and look at their words and their actions and what they present with a with a detachment of awareness. It's that simple. The Lone Wolf on guitar, out.